This is Digital Byte Computing and we're going to look into how to connect to your ESX server from your Mac. So you may already know that through Windows you can access your vCenter or your ESX server using the vSphere uh, client for example. On your Mac that app is not available. So there is an app by VMware called VMware Fusion which will let you do this natively on your Mac and manage what you need to manage. So do a quick Google search for VMware Fusion. Latest version at this time is version 7. You can download a trial version for free which you can use and that way you can get a bit of an understanding of how it works. But I would highly recommend to purchase the app. It's not very expensive and it will let you do what you need to do. So I've already downloaded it and we've just thrown it onto the desktop. So let's install that really quickly. So we're going to try it for 30 days. So if we want to connect to a ESX server, as well as having a number of other functions, we need to install Fusion 7 Professional. So the standard version will not allow you to connect to the VMware infrastructure. So use Professional, throw in your email and click continue. So once the app opens, you'll be presented with a couple of options. This is to create a Windows uh, image, for example. We're not going to do this because we want to connect to an ESX host. So we close out of that and we go to the toolbar at the top and you go File, Connect to Server. So three options for the VMware suite. You can connect to Workstation, you can connect to an ESX host, or you can connect to a vCenter server. So let's connect to my host. So we want to put in the IP or the host name, the username and the password. And we say connect. And that has now connected to my ESX host. I'll have access to a lot of the same functionality of vSphere. It may be limited on a few things, but a lot of the stuff that you can do on vSphere, you can also do on here. So let's say I select my server. I can go into my settings, for example. I can adjust, you know, I can put the name, I can change the, uh, the memory, how much RAM, how much processor I wanna give it. Network adapters, I can add a device, so I can add an existing hard drive, uh, and a few other things as well. If you want to remote into it, you can just right click and say show windows. And there's my Windows, so I can connect to it as per normal. So that is connecting to an ESX host using uh, VM, v VMware Fusion on a Mac. So if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.